Let me go over one other subject that will affect whether or not you get the spots out. And that would be what type of material are you working with? Are you working with a natural fiber such as wool or cotton or silk? Or are you working with a synthetic material such as nylon, olefins, polyesters? And the way we're going to identify that is by doing a simple burn test. Now, a couple tools that you'll need to use. One is going to be a small clip of some sort, could be tweezers, whatever you want to use, and just to hold on to the fiber. Because if you hold on to it with your fingertips, I can guarantee it's going to hurt when it burns. Second thing you're going to need is a butane lighter. The butane lighter is better than matches because matches give off a sulfur smell. The third thing is use the correct tool, which would be your napping shears, which we explained earlier. If you're going to be using carpet, then you can go to the side of the wall, take up a couple samples after you've asked the customer. If you're going to be doing fabrics on upholstery, then you need to go to either the zippered area of the cushion or the back skirt of the chair itself. So once you've done that, you're ready to go. So we're going to show you the difference and test on each one of these. I've already taken a natural material off of the fabric here. Take my lighter, okay, and I'm going to light this one. Now, one other thing you want to do is anytime you're doing this, do it over something. In other words, like a cup or an ashtray or something else. When you light this particular one, you're going to notice that even though the flame didn't stay on there very long, that you're getting this little burning ember. If I blow on this, you notice that it glows, right? And keeps smoking, and it smells like burnt paper. This just means it's some sort of cotton material, right? And you'll notice this one doesn't want to go out. Now, but it, once it goes out, and you squeeze it in between your fingertips, in this particular case, I lick mine so that I get it, and you're going to get a black smudge on there. That black smudge is the ash, which tells you it's a natural fiber, okay? That means it's going to be difficult to remove some spots and stains. Second one I'm going to do is going to be a synthetic fiber. And I've taken a yarn here. This is a continuous yarn like you would get it in a looped product. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Okay, I'm going to burn this one. And you'll notice how it kind of recoils. And it burns very nicely because all synthetic materials are made of some sort of petroleum which means that they're just going to melt. Now I'm going to blow this one out. And if you'll notice it dripped into my water, that's why I put it there. Okay, and I'm not going to touch this one for a little while because it's going to be hot molten plastic. All right, but once it cools off, you could actually squeeze it and all you're going to find is it's a hard plastic bead. That tells you it is a synthetic material. And in most cases, most spotting staining materials should come out of that particular material.